With these new features, creating different modes in Figma is so easy. And in this video, I will show you how to make this product card light and dark in less than 6 minutes. Let's dive right into it. As always, if you want to follow along this video, I put the Figma link in the description below. So here we have our product card in light mode. And now the first step is to create a dark mode manually. And if you're wondering what's the purpose of this new method, if you need to create it manually, the thing is you need to do it only once. Once you have your variables and your modes and you create a new component, as soon as you create a new one in light mode, you have them on dark mode too. So this new method makes it very easy to scale and also to keep consistency throughout your designs. So we'll make a copy of this one and we're going to call it dark. And here I will just add new colors to make it dark mode. Once we have something we like for dark mode, we can start creating our variables. And don't worry, it doesn't need to be perfect at this point. You can change the value of your variables at any time. So to access the local variables menu, you need to deselect all your elements. And for that, you can press escape. And then we need to be on the designs tab. And here we have local variables. So we open. And the first thing we do is we're going to rename our collection. And we're going to call it color palette. And we're going to create a color variable. There are different ways to start adding your colors here. You can select your parent component and see where the colors that you have here. So you create color variables based on these colors. But I don't like this method because you can have the same color with a different translation in dark mode. For example, here you have white text translated as a white text in dark mode. But here you have, again, a white text being translated as a black text in dark mode. So it's the same color, it's the same component as text, but the translation is different. So I will recommend to go through your child components first instead of starting by the parent component. So here we can start with the title. I will call this title and this will be black. Then the subtitle. Then we get to go through the bills. I'll call it bill background. I think it's better to go as granular as you can. So here we're gonna have bill X and it will be white. And then we can have the background, the overall background. And then we have the price bill here. For light mode will be black. And then price tax is white. So once you finish light mode, we can create a new mode here. And we're going to change the name to dark. And this one is light. And here we start doing the, the translation. So for the title, this one is white. Just to make sure we're going to select it here. For the subtitle. For the bill. The pill text is white for both modes. And then the background it goes from white to this dark gray. Then the price tag goes from black to, to white. And then the price tag is black. And I believe those are all the colors we have. So as simple as that, you create your variables and your light and dark mode. If you're liking this video so far, I only have one request for you, and that's to click the like button below. It will take you probably less than a second, but it really helps the channel. Thank you. So once we have our variables, we need to start assigning these colors. So instead of having the hex code here, we're going to start assigning by variable name. So that's why naming your variables correctly is really important. But before that, I will just copy this here to show that we are making progress. And the same thing that happened when we were creating the variables, we cannot apply the variables directly from the parent component because, for example, here we have white, but we don't know if this white belongs to build text, background, or price text. So what we need to do is to go again on the child component. So we're going to select this. We know that the black is the title. We know that this is the build, this is the build text, and this is the subtitle. 
Now when we select this, we know that this white is the background. And then we select the price and we know that black is price tag background and this is price tags. That's it. And now before testing, you can select your party component, come here and layer and assign a mode manually. This is not necessary because as you can see here, it automatically goes to the first mode. So in this case, light, but I like to do it manually because that will show the mode right next to the component name. And now we can make a copy of this, come here again and layer and change these to dark. And as easy as that, we have a dark mode component. And now to test it on frames, this is a little bit confusing because if you have your frame without any component inside, you will not see any icon next to the layer section. But as soon as you put a component inside or a component that has a mode inside your frame and then go again to your frame, you will see the mode icon there. And at that point, you can tell Figma that, hey, this is a light mode frame. And then the same happened with dark mode. We need to put a component here and then go to our frame and tell Figma, hey, this is dark mode. And the reason why our component didn't change automatically is because we assigned it manually. So here you can put automatically. And as soon as you change from one frame to the other, it will change its colors. And by the way, our product card here is a fully responsive component. I did this using min and max and direction grab. If you want to learn how to do that, I highly recommend you to check my previous tutorial. I will put the link around here. And that's all I have for this video. I hope you found it helpful. And if you did, follow me because I do this weekly. See you on my next tutorial. Bye-bye.